Oh, no. you guys can I'm leave. I'm gonna tell you Wait one thing right now. In York County, Maine, Warden Cody Lounder is surrounded by a hunting family, outraged that he is seizing their rifle and deer. Are you not? You can not. Right. 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 Alone and outnumbered, Lounder calls Warden Carlton Richardson for backup. Yeah, you want to come down? If you're going to take a deer, you better have a summit. Yes, yeah, yeah, we have uh, a rifle. You're not taking that yeah, rifle either. I, I am taking it. Right, I'm taking so. the deer. So right have a right. What I explained to them already, yeah. okay? It's going what? to the district attorney's office. They're going to sort it out. No, they did not break, break the law. The law. Why would they break the yeah. law? Where's the, Where's the summit? they break it? Tell me. They shot within 100 yards of a dwelling. No, they did not. Why, 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 are, why, are, you, why are you guys even here? Because this is my grandfather. Have you even? Found out the story from. Yeah, did you yeah. measure it? I found out the they story. They called and told us the story. Measure it. They they shot the deer up there. In yeah. the pit. The deer ran down. Right. Yeah. Okay. They shot it again within a hundred yards of the house. A civilian cannot shoot within a hundred yards of a dwelling. Who told hey, 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 to hey, shoot listen, that deer? Listen to me. Warden Richardson arrives on the scene. These guys showed up yeah. and then they. Okay. Did. Why didn't you they, guys were, they were leave. leaving. I know, you that's have what nothing I told to do with it. Yeah, right, got something to do with it. Okay. That's yeah. my grandson. That's, 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 that's my son. Yeah, and that's my son right there. Listen, I'm willing to work with okay. you, and I'm willing to work with you, okay, because you guys were here. You and you need to leave. If he, uh. Okay. Listen, oh, okay. go sit in the vehicle. With me. Go up there. Oh. Are you failing to disperse? Because this can turn into an issue where you're going to go in handcuffs, so you're going to go in handcuffs. Special, though? The okay. relatives back down. <laughs> Richardson and Lounder zero in on the hunters. What I'm saying is, it's, we have equipment, mapping equipment. There's a time and place to measure instead of in the pitch dark to make it accurate, okay? Let's say, for instance, 78 feet, okay? Or 178 feet. So now you're still within that 100 yards. Now, if the ADA says, eh, no, I, you know, they were pursuing a deer, you know, they were killing it because they killed it legally somewhere else. That firearm, I mean, the deer and everything, goes back to you guys, okay? It's, it's just being held as evidence. So I, uh, I pulled the suspect aside and just explained to him. He was upset um, that the gun was getting seized, the deer was getting seized. The biggest thing I told him is the case has to go in front of an ADA. Um, so the problem is if we just give him a ticket, he's going to have a court date months away when this might be resolved tomorrow. Any questions from you? Mm -hmm. Sure. OK. Instead of issuing a summons, the wardens will seize the deer and the firearm for now and return in the daylight when they can get an accurate measurement. So the next steps in this investigation are uh, we're probably going to come back tomorrow, map out the scene, go over it in the daylight, and see exactly where people shot from. And uh, we'll get a hold of the district attorney and see what they want to do with the case. Thanks for your help. Yeah.